Hi, I'm Ken Oaks with Oaks Daylilies. We get a lot of questions about fertilizer and daylilies, and so I'm going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about what kind of fertilizer to use, we're going to talk about when to apply it, and we're going to talk about how to apply it. So the first question we get about fertilizer and daylilies is what kind to use. Uh, and that's a couple questions in one. First kind is you know, what type and then also like what blend. So as far as what type of fertilizer, fertilizers generally come in granular, liquid, or you know, perhaps manure or something like that. Uh, granular is probably the most common that folks use, but any of those would work. Um, and then you know, related to that, you want to know what blend. Okay. And gen daylilies are typically known as a really easy plant to grow. So we typically just recommend uh, a balanced fertilizer. So that would be something maybe like a 10-10-10 or a 12-12-12. Uh, we have a specially made product. Let me grab that real quick. So this was uh, made for us by a local fertilizer company. So you might want to give this a try. It's a relatively balanced blend. Um, the only uh, exception to uh, you know this might be if you've moved to a new garden or if you feel like your soil is some special condition, you know a soil test is always a great idea. So you can pick one of those up and send it off, and they might give you some some better guidance. Uh, I'll tell you a joke real quick. My dad always used to say about uh, using manure in your garden. It needs to be well aged, you know, two or three year old. But uh, he said it's up to you to figure out how old the cow was. So. So the next question we get is when to fertilize. Uh, and there's several different times. Uh, when you first plant a daylily, that's a great time to fertilize. Uh, we do sell a product called a grow tab, and this is designed for transplanting success. So this might be something you'd want to give a try. Uh, the way this works, it's just a little tab. You would just pretty much just put it in the bottom of the hole and put the daylily on top of it. Now you don't have to use this, but uh, when you plant is a great time to, to fertilize. Typically, you would just uh, sprinkle some around the newly planted daylily. Um, the other time that's a great time to plant is in the spring. Uh, and you're going to want to wait until most of the danger of a hard frost is over in your area. Uh, we're here in East Tennessee, so we're a zone 7 or so. Uh, so typically mid-March or so is when we would start thinking about fertilizing. It can depend year to year what the, what the season's progressing like. Uh, but to mid-March is about when we would do it here. And of course if you live you know, to our south, you're going to want to do it sooner. And if you live to our north, uh, you're going to want to do it later. So the other time you might want a fertilizer would be after bloom season and on into the fall. Um, and this will help get your daylilies, um, you know, growing well and nice and established and they'll be good to go the next season for, for next year's bloom season. Uh, now in areas that get cold weather in the winter, you're going to want to do this, you know, several weeks before your hard frost. So in our area, we're probably going to want to stop fertilizing, you know, first part of September or so, give them, you know, a good six weeks or so before we get uh, our first uh, hard cold weather. So how to apply. Uh, probably you'd want to just check the bag or if you're using liquid fertilizer, just check what it might recommend that you use. Uh, you know, for our fertilizer, we recommend a couple of teaspoons or so for each daylily. So a four pound bag like this is going to cover 75 to 100 daylilies. So it goes pretty far. So as far as applying it goes, really, I'm just going to take, I'm not going to measure it out, but I said a couple of teaspoons or so. So I'm just going to take what I think is about right. And I'm just going to sprinkle it around. Yep. Just like that. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. I'll do another couple here just to give you an idea. You see, I'm not using a ton on it, but I'm just kind of circling around the edge like that. Now, if you've got a, a big bed, like, you know, this is a pretty long bed here, uh, you can certainly just take it and sort of broadcast like that, okay? This isn't as precise, but, you know, we're going daylilies here. They're, they're pretty adaptable, right? So, you know, just uh, sprinkle some on there, try and you know, feel like you got about the right amount like that. Um, and what you're going to want to do after you put the fertilizer on there is you want to come back and water this in, okay, for a couple reasons. First off, you know, it'll dissolve the fertilizer down into the soil so the daily can use it. And then also, you know, particularly with the broadcasting it over the top, uh, we could have got some fertilizer on the leaves. And so it'll help wash the fertilizer off the leaves and down into the soil. So you're going to want to water your dailies, water your fertilizer in after you spread it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we've grown daylilies for over 40 years now, so we'd love to talk about daylilies and be glad to answer any of your questions. Uh, you can just put them below here in the comments, or you can visit our website. All our contact information is there. We've got a lot of other videos about daylilies. Be sure and check those out on our YouTube channel.